Heart Attack. This is Heart Attack. <laughs> Explorers have risked the curse of the mummy's tomb to reveal the secret of ancient Egyptian art. It can now be revealed. Instant coffee, actually. Come and have a look at this. Mix one teaspoon of instant coffee with about half a pint of water and PVA glue. Now, PVA glue is that white school glue that you get in the squidgy bottles. And your mixture needs to be about two parts water to one part glue. Now, hold on. What's this got to do with Egyptian art, I hear you ask? Well, take a piece of white paper, any size, and just lay strips of gauze bandage that you've cut to lengths slightly longer than your paper. And just lay them side by side, next to each other, on the paper. Excuse me. And the idea is to just cover your paper completely in raggedy bandage. And again, it doesn't matter if they hang over the edge because it's all part of the effect. When you've covered your paper, just take a brush and start to literally slop on your mixture of coffee and PVA glue. And again, you don't have to be neat. We never are on Art Attack, are we? Don't put too much on there, because the idea is that you're trying to get the bandage to soak in the PVA glue mixture and glue itself to the paper. Now, I'm not going to do the, the whole lot here. But when you've done it, when you've covered all the bandage, just put it to one side to dry. Leave it overnight. And when it's dry, it will look something like that. And the coffee has actually stained the bandage so it looks old and mummified. And in fact, the whole paper has stiffened like some ancient Egyptian papyrus paper. Brilliant effect. Now to decorate it. Well, the Egyptians themselves, they would have made some dyes with which to paint. But I find you can get a great effect if you use wax crayon or chalk. Now, the ancient Egyptian art was quite primitive, so you don't have to do a brilliant drawing on this. It's just an effect that you're looking for. You don't even have to draw anything that's Egyptian. You can make something up yourself, but I like these Egyptian symbols. Now, the faces, they weren't brilliant, and they always seemed to have these square haircuts, and they had an awful lot of eye makeup. Now the colours that they used, they used a lot of blues. Oh, snapping the crayon there. They used a lot of blues and a lot of golds. You've probably seen that on those pictures of the Tutankhamun exhibition. I just put those colours on. And try to keep your crayon nice and sharp if you can, because it makes a good thin line then. I'm just going to draw very thin arms, because they always seem to draw thin arms. Again, snapping the crayon there. It must be the case of the mummy. They always had thin arms. And for some reason, they had the bodies facing to the front, like that, and the arms and the feet facing to the side. Maybe they were a different shape to us, I don't know. There it is. And when you've finished it, colour it in completely, and it will look something like that. And as you can see, I've decorated it here with some ancient Egyptian symbols. Well, um, actually, only one of them is Egyptian, that one. I'm not too sure what it means, but they used to write about their lives and their families and friends and even their hobbies. So what I've done is I've put in a paintbrush and scissors for my hobby. And another good idea is to put in your initials back to front and there's some more symbols. And there it is, some mummified Egyptian art. Try it yourself. And when you've finished it, Show it to your mummy. What do you think? Dead nice. Oh, I get it. Dead nice. <laughs> oh, 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 hello. It's the head here. Now, let me see if I've got all that right. Um, half a teaspoon of instant coffee mixed with two parts water and one part PVA glue. Slot that mixture all over the strips of gauze bandage. 
When it's dry, draw on it with wax crayons. Instant ancient Egyptian art. Dead nice. <laughs> I have got just one thing to say. That picture was rubbish! <laughs> oh, that's too much! <laughs> Here's a neat little tip that's great fun to do and makes your cartoons very lively. Just draw a very simple cartoon. Now, this is an old-fashioned car that I've drawn, and I'm going to draw it standing next to an old-fashioned lamppost. Your drawing doesn't have to be brilliant for this. It's a star that we're looking for. In fact, you don't even have to do a drawing. You could trace something from a magazine or a book. There it is. There's my lamppost. Just do a couple of lines on it, like they had. And there it is. A very simple cartoon. Well, now I'm going to jazz it up a bit. The first thing I'm going to do is turn it upside down. You'll see why in a minute. Now I'm going to take two different coloured pens. I'll take the tops off. I'm going to hold them right at the tip, at the opposite end, to the writing nib. Then I'm going to place them onto my picture, one in one hand, one in the other, and keeping my hands right at the end of the pens, I'm just going to try and go over all the lines that I've just drawn. Now, as you can see, it's sort of Mission Impossible. Well, that's good, because that adds to the effect I'm trying to create. Just keep your pen going all the way around your drawing, and whatever you do, don't miss one of the lines that you've drawn. So on this lamppost, I'm going to have to do the four lines, and there, on the headlamp, I'm going to go round twice, 
and it's a style I'm trying to create here. You know, a lot of the great artists weren't great drawers, but it was just a style that they created. And this is just a way of really jazzing up your drawings. Just keep going all the way round. And the reason the picture's upside down is it makes it harder to follow. And again, that's good. It all adds to that final jazzy effect. There are, just going up and down the grill of the car. And there it is. Turn it back the right way up. And there it is, a very jazzy cartoon. Try it yourself. Put some life into your drawings and do a jazzy cartoon. Oh, that is nice. Giving your cartoons some added style by going over the lines with coloured pens. I've done one of them. Do you want to see it? Um, I think I must remember to stick to the lines next time. Hello, my name is Anna. I made my shield out of fabric and all the different pictures represent members of my family. I am Nikki Anna. This is my shield. I designed it on fabric to show what I like. I quilted it to make the pictures stand out. My name is Laura. My shield is made out of wood and then I painted it. Each picture on it represents something that my family likes doing. Ah, brilliant art attack from Bedgebury Lower School. Design your own coat of arms. All you need to do is draw a shield shape and divide it into four, and then paint, draw, or even stick objects into the different sections. Now, it's best to draw things that are relevant to you, or your family, or even your interests, because after all, it is your personalised coat of arms. You know what I'm interested in? Art, art, and even more art. <laughs> There we go. yourself. Design your own coat of arms and I'll see you next time. Ta-ra! <laughs> <laughs>